Here. It's a Gaiba. What it is actually? In Croatia we call this, well, Gaiba. In English it would be a beer keg or in German beer kiste. Yeah. But this one is a little bit special, as you may be noticed, it is, well, motorized, motorized beer crate. Let's talk a little bit about the exterior setup. So what do we have? We have a supercar wheels and tires. I don't know the dimensions because I forgot, but they are pretty wide in the rear, a little bit more narrow in the front. We have a steel tube chassis, steel frame. We have Gaiba inside is the engine. So exhaust. Cheap Chinese works pretty well. Stainless steel exhaust pipe, uh, disc, rear brake disc and caliper. This is some also cheap eBay bearings. They work pretty well. Shifter made out of stainless steel pipe. And <laughs> this is one interesting thing. Um, this is from the old, uh, I don't know how it's called in English, but in Croatia it's called tramway for opening the, the windows. Don't ask me how I got that. As you can see, I have some eight bolts here. You gotta have the eight bolts. Front steering links left and right thread so you can uh, adjust steering steering damper also sub cheap <laughs> Chinese one yeah, it actually doesn't work so well but it looks good <laughs> at least something we have LED lights also cheap out of eBay and this is interesting, so this is a 3D printed holder for the front lights and it's, it's actually adjustable. You can adjust the angle and you can also remove it with these screws. It's held on this main tube with some rubber for the vibrations. You maybe notice this thing, the seat. It's actually made out of two scale skateboard decks. I cut them in half. Actually my, my old decks when I was skating. And yeah, I will not, I will not uh, do anything else to this. I will not cover this in any uh, leather or something like that. I like it just the way it is. And underside you have a nice hinge. Here we have some electronics mambo jumbo. We have a main battery, a fuel tank. This is also interesting. I use this out of uh, old Mercedes uh, cam cover. So actually this part was taken from that and welded to this aluminum. Rear sprocket and rear axle Momo steering wheel yeah racing in the front we all have a carburetor uh, air filter also eBay and also this is 3d printed as you probably noticed it actually held pretty well. It, it didn't have any trouble with uh, with gasoline. 
and it's here for I think two years no problem whatsoever never fell apart so really good I don't know the material I think it's it's just PLA or something my friend uh, 3d printed this for me okay here we have a dashboard if you could call it like that it's carbon fiber nice this is actually the start button the light switch this is actually out of uh, old helicopter this is why uh, this has this uh, funky color of the screws main ignition so just on, on off contact and this is for the safety reasons you put this around your hand like this and you fall off it disengages and no power it cuts out you can see this on jet skis and probably other other things okay this this here is the gas pedal also carbon fiber pretty sweet and now the the main thing what's actually running this um, I actually bought a uh, used old Chinese quad and uh, just salvage as many parts as I could. It has a 110cc uh, for uh, 110cc engine inside. It has a gearbox with three forward speeds, one reverse. You shift the gears with this. So actually in the back, when you shift to the back, you shift in the first, second, third, second, first, neutral, reverse. I don't know how many horsepower does it uh, have. It should be around uh, seven, maybe eight. I would say maybe seven. That's it for the exterior. I will now remove this plastic cover and let's see what's underneath and talk a little bit about that. And now the interior, it looks like a proper Mad Max style now. Okay, you can see now here the engine. As I mentioned before, 110 cc's. It has a starter motor here. This is a coil, this is the main relay for the starter motor, here this blue thing is a relay for a contact relay for everything else. This is not original, I sourced this out of eBay also, had to make some uh, spacer plates to clear this is a really tight fit around everything here original carburetor here we have a nice aluminum uh, battery mount that I made everything is a really tight 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 This is a <laughs> vent for the battery. I have to sort this thing out. Main sprocket out of the uh, gearbox of the engine. Negative terminal. You can see the interesting design of the fuel cell tank. It really needs to fit in there. 
I wrapped the exhaust with this uh, heat wrap the same is used on uh, on race cars wow what is this yeah the brakes it has a rear disc brake only that uh, stainless steel teflon line brake line and this was actually uh, from the quad original uh, brake cylinder uh, this was uh, meant for a hand brake so i chopped it off modified it put some threads in there make made the mount and actually used it here as a pedal mount this was quite interesting problem to solve uh, you have two bearings inside here This works really well and hasn't break, not even one time, <laughs> which is funny. This this little thing that actuates the brake cylinder actually is chopped off out of the hand uh, hand operated brake pedal, and it's uh, it's held. You cannot weld aluminum to the metal, unfortunately. So I made here in the back, maybe you can see a steel plate that has actually pins that go in this aluminum thing. And that's how, how I connected this aluminum to, the, to this uh, shaft, to the steel shaft, which is actually just an Allen, Allen bolt running through the bearings. And it works really, really good. I didn't have any trouble with this. You can see my exhaust has some nice color. This was actually, this was actually not intentional. When I first assembled the engine, I somehow managed to mix, uh, to fuck up the phase. So it was not, not in phase, not running well. And this is the result. Uh, I didn't melt the piston, so that was, I was lucky with that, I guess. The fuel, fuel delivery, you can see here on the bottom, the fuel line, and it actually goes up to this uh, pulse pump, which is operated, uh, connected to the to the main engine block we have some uh, also uh, eBay fuel filter which actually has inside uh, I think a steel element which is nice and going to the carburetor also return line and in this return line I have some uh, restrictor all this I don't know is this the best solution it's somewhat of working okay uh, initially I had it without this return line and I think it was even running a little bit better but the 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 gas was coming out of this uh, these two things or only one of them I think the top one so I think the ball was overflowing and then the, the, the excess of the gas was coming out here. Yeah, the, the wiring is not that pretty. Shifter. I don't have any troubles with the heat, it's not hot, hot under your ass, it has a good uh, cooling I think from the front and the, the underside, it's not closed, yeah, so I've been, I've been running this 
whenever I can. It's fun to drive. Uh, it was a couple of years now and still running. Nothing fell apart. I had a few <laughs> crashes with it, but nothing major. It's a nice weather outside. Maybe we could take it for a ride. <laughs>